obviously did see a lot of rating activity, uh, but I think what we need to remember is actually going into 2020, we were also starting to see some weakening overall of the credit quality. I think what COVID actually did was just accelerate that and exasperate it. Um, you know, we did a very quick, we held together, we quickly assessed some of the sectors that were going to be most exposed from, you know, a service oriented perspective, commodity uh, price perspective. And we took ratings actions where we thought uh, they were necessary. Um, what that has actually transpired into over the ensuing months is there's been a real shift in, in our overall credit quality of the portfolio. Um, and that's primarily down at the lower end, you know, the single B into the CA uh, land. And that's largely because of all the things that we've just been talking about, tightening liquidity, um, you know, uncertainty around rebound, recovery, uh, earnings, contraction. Um, I think where we were focused and where we remain focused uh, for a lot of our issuers is liquidity, access to capital. At what price can they refinance? So when we look back at the ratings actions that we took, and we hear this a lot from the market that there were so many, they were actually quite concentrated at the lower end and those companies that had tight liquidity. So I think going into, you know, as we look forward, Liquidity is still a key theme for us. And now we're also thinking about and, and looking forward to 2021 to see, will markets really open up? Will there be diversification? You know, we all know that the high yield market is highly concentrated in China property. We were getting some steps ahead there in terms of some diversification outside of China property, but COVID effectively stunted that. So that's where we are. Mm -hmm.